Okay, hi everyone. <laughs> I don't actually uh, do these kind of videos, so this will be a little weird for me, but let's give it a shot. Um, I have been getting, almost for a full year now, the Paradise Fibers um, Wool of the Month collection. You know, they send you for, let's say it's $35 a month, they send you about six to eight ounces of wool with all kinds of goodies and specials in it and stuff like that. So I've been doing this for almost almost a full year now. And I noticed something at the bottom of the bag that says, let's see if I can get it. That's well, probably gonna be written backwards for you is, but um, if I share my unboxing video, what's it say? Get social with us. Share your unbagging for a chance to win 500 Paradise Points. Not 100% sure what Paradise Points are, but I think if you get X amount of points or something like that, you get coupons or something, I don't know. So I am attempting to do an unbagging video and I've never done one before. So let's give it a shot. <laughs> um, if you, if you've never been on this channel before, which is quite likely because I think I've got one subscriber and I think that's my mom. So my mom, <laughs> um, my name is Beth and, uh, I do uh, a lot of nail polish videos, uh, just, just little nail arts, you know, just goofing around. I'm not, not a big YouTuber or anything like that. I'm just, I have a YouTube channel because occasionally I need to put something online to share it. Um, I do a scavenger hunt every year called a uh, Gishwees and occasionally I need to put an item on there so that they can, um, give me the points for it. So honestly, I'm, I'm not a YouTuber. I'm not an influencer or anything like that, but <laughs> let's see what, let's see what we got. Um, now it is December 14th right now. It's, uh, about 9.30 at night. I just got home from work and I don't, usually you get the Paradise Fibers bag, um, like within the first week of the month. Um, I did get a notification that they were running a little bit late, uh, this month. So I'm not a hundred percent sure when it showed up because honestly, I don't visit my mailbox as often as I should. So, uh, I did hit the mailbox today where I also found, you know, my new handwoven magazine. So this one here is actually July, January, February's issue. So that's actually, um, I'm actually surprised at how quickly that showed up. Absolutely love handwoven and spinoff. Um, but let's see, let's get this open. I'm so excited. I have no idea what's in there. They post a spoiler and it said something, something about... I don't know, it made me think Narnia-ish, you know, through a wardrobe or magical other world or something like that. So what do we have? Now in here there's paperwork that tells you about what it is. I don't want to look at that yet. I want to see what I've got and then I'll take a look at the paperwork and see what it is. Starting off with, ooh, it says, let it snow. It is it's like shades of gray, but maybe like a warm toned gray in there with a streak of blue. Oh, you help if you could see it, huh? But there's also some Angelina in there. See the sparkle? Can I get that to focus? Now the, the lighting here is not super good. I tried to turn on as many lights as possible, but honestly, once the sun goes down, this room is pretty dark, but it does look like it's various shades of gray with a streak of blue in there. And to me, that really reminds me of December, January, you know, with snow being white, but it's also trees going gray, just a sparkle, sparkle when the light hits the snow and then a streak of blue for the blue sky. This is in its plastic bag, but yeah, you can't really see the sparkle through the plastic bag. That is beautiful. It's got a soft hand to it. Not as silky as I thought it was, but also not very cottony. So a nice medium level. I'm sure, I'm sure I'll find out what, what that is. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's got a little penguin sticker on it. This one here is a little bit more my... I love green. 
green, emerald green, shades of green, absolutely adorable. This here looks a little, a little bit more tealy green, teal blue aqua, but still right in that same colorway that I really like. All kinds, very streaky. About the same hand as this. No sparkles, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. You can't have sparkle everything. You can, but sparkle in in in, uh, in moderation. But look at that. Again, wondering without looking to see what it is. I'm thinking. Cord Hill? Maybe Merino? I don't think there's silk in there. Oh, and they've all, always sent you a little baggie of goodies. So, what do we got in our goodies? We have got, here's here's the little baggie with their, their mascot. Little mascot sticker. I think her name is Eunice, but every time they, they put her in there, they say they say what she is, and it's always got E-W-E hidden in the word somewhere. Um, little bag of tea. This one here is Holiday Chai, but it's funny. I don't, is this a brand that they have specifically made for them? Because it's called Stash Tea, and come on, knitters, spinners, we all have stashes, so this has got to be... This has got to be made specifically for us or something, right? Or is this is this a legitimate brand that I can buy online? That that's just that's cool. What is this? It they always have like a, a stitch keeper, a marker, but it's got a little pull tab on here. It's battery operated. Can I get the tab out? Wow, that's bright. <laughs> okay, it's like a like a Christmas light. Okay, don't look directly at it when you're pulling the tab out, <laughs> because oh my goodness. Okay, I'll work about. I'll put the tab back in there. I'll, I'll play with that later. That's bright. Very cool. It's kind of like a little little Christmas light, but super bright. Now they usually only send you one stitch keeper. Got a second one in here. It's a little, little topaz dangle. Little, little sparkle. That's cool. Two stitch keepers, neato. And then this is a little bag with a stitch threader, like a needle threader, and a bunch of sparkly sparkly beads. They've got kind of that that multicolor, what do they call it, AB, like Aurora Borealis or something, sparkle to them. The last time I got beads and a needle threader like that, it was because we were meant to um, spin the yarn and thread the beads on the yarn and make a beaded yarn at the same time. Okay, so that's all that came in my bag. Let's take a look at what the cards say. Let's see if I was close at guessing the breed of sheep. Because it felt like something I'd handled before. Let's see. I was right by saying Narnia. Look at that. December Fiber Club. Let's go and take the adventures that shall fall to us. Narnia. Uh, lace weight. They're... they're Saying lace weight is probably the thing to go with these. What is... Okay, so there was a chance. It looks like there's four colors in this collection. And it's a different two colors that you can get at the same time. I got Tree of Youth, which is this gray with a streak of blue in it. And Wood Between the Worlds, which is the tealy. There's also a um, My Dear Lucy, which is the purple, and One True King, which looks like a an orangey brown and orange. 
Um, do, 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 do. Inspired by the Chronicles of Narnia, which I read a long time ago. I remember liking it, but... I, I did like the Chronicles of Narnia. At the time I read them, I did like them. But as I got older, I found myself really disliking the lion. Like, he's supposed to be, like, the super cool, the one you're rooting for. I just, I didn't like the way it was portrayed. Personal opinion. Unpopular. I know. Sorry. I just, Aslan the lion, didn't care for him. Um, let's see. Fine merino wool. I was right, merino 70% merino, natural de-haired cashmere, cashmere, cool, about 15% cashmere, and mulberry silk. I didn't think there was silk in there, but there is a little bit. Of, it's 70% merino, 15 cashmere, and 15 mulberry. Uh, the cashmere provides loft and warmth. The silk offers a hint of gleam and drape. God, I love silk. Everything with silk, just love it. Um, and the merino provides your finished fabric with a smooth texture and a wonderful temperature, temperature regulating properties. Okay. And then in the notions bag, which was uh, the little baggie, um, stash holiday chai tea, Mr. T. Humanus. This is, that's, oh yeah, because in Narnia, it was the, um, the Seder. I can't remember his name, but obviously it's something like T. Humanus, but without the word U in the middle of it. Um, do, 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 approximately 34 millimeter faceted, 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 faceted crystal beads. Shine light on your journey with your illuminating lamp post flame stitch marker. Okay, so it's not a Christmas light. It's a lamp post flame. And adorn your projects while you go with your rhinestone teardrop stitch marker to ward off all creative blocks. Uh, use your hook to add them to your stitches as you knit. Oh, wait. Use your included threader to add your beads into your fiber as you spin or use a crochet hook to add them to your stitches as you knit. You can even sew these iridescent beads into your finished product. Okay. So that is pretty flippin' cool. And if, if you do decide to get a, um, a Paradise Fibers, uh, Fiber of the Month Club, uh, subscription, you also get 10% off on their store. So if you go to buy stuff from their store, you can put in, um, the code. I've forgotten what the code is. Something club. I'm sure it's written in here somewhere. Um, and you can get 10% off at their store. So if you've absolutely fallen in love with the collection, you can go and buy more on their store. Okay. So I hope that was kind of interesting. Again, I don't do videos like this very often or in this case at all. <laughs> so um, I hope that was cool and I hope you guys liked it. All right. Bye.